Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Your baby girl here, Precious Choma. In this video, I'll be sharing with us relationship do's and don'ts. First, don't ask your man money for hair, your nails, your little basic needs like um your sanitary pads, your soap, your cream and all that. You can afford it before you met this guy. You've been doing this yourself. Yeah, most of us have our fathers can't even afford buying all these things you want your boyfriend to do for you. So it's not like it's his job. You can take care of these things yourself. Like, yes, let him do some other things for you, like some major things you can actually afford. Even if he doesn't give you the whole money, at least he can support, uh, sorry, he can support you with the one he can support you with, right? Yeah, so please, let's, let's give them this benefit of doubt that you can take care of us, like we can take care of ourselves without them being there. Do you understand? Number two, don't go to bed angry. If you guys have issues, try to settle it before you go to bed. It's not always good to go to bed angry. Yes, I used to be like that. Like, I just don't want to, you know, accept that apology. I want to just, you know, still, mm, I want to fight. I want to show him that you really got me pissed. Like, honestly, I can't take it. I can't just forgive you like that. I need to just extend it. Don't extend it. The third one, buy gifts for each other. Don't wait for Christmas, Easter, um new year any festive period to buy gifts for each other no surprise each other if you're this kind of girl or kind of guy who still is dating a very rich person yeah i know i understand it's not easy to date that rich girl or that rich guy i'm telling you especially when they love designers ah i can relate just look for those average things they love buy it for them do you understand so don't think yourself too much I was in that shoe when I used to date this guy. He's so rich. I mean, he loves designers too much. So <laughs> I couldn't even deal. Like, each time I want to buy something for him, just be thinking, well, what can I buy for him that he doesn't have? What can I even afford? Like, how? And I was still a student. Man, I kept buying him wristwatches, the ones I could afford. Yeah, I kept buying, but I was always buying the good ones. Yeah. He always appreciated it then, no. <laughs> I, I can relate. So always buy gifts for each other. Surprise yourselves. It's very sweet. I love surprises and I love to surprise my man too. The fourth one, do accept your partner the way he or she is. She was Raz or she was cool. He was Raz or he was cool. He was this, she was this, blah, blah, blah. They were like that before you started dating them. You guys were actually friends before you started to date, right? So you condoned all these things before you enter the relationship. So accept him or her the way they are, period. Any other thing that comes, you can sort it out, but this one that wants to enter relationship start complaining here and there, and other things, not just about anything, but other things are involved. You just have to accept them the way they are. That's just on period. The fifth one, don't take your partner for granted. I mean, never. Do you know what I despise so much? When I call you on phone, and you tell me you're busy, that you're going to call me back in the next 10 minutes, on the next 5 minutes. I'm going to wait, right? Maybe that call took place by 10 o'clock p.m. And you said you were going to call me back in 10 minutes time. Okay, fine. I want to assume you were so busy and you couldn't call in 10 minutes time. I was still waiting. And me, I won't call you back. Because you asked me to You asked me to wait till you call me back. So why would you forget not to call me back? I don't understand. Or why would I forget to call you back? Like... You keep calm till the next day. You will not text me or call me, baby, sorry, this, that. Or, or, or I will text and tell you, baby, sorry, this and that happened. That's, that's not a good excuse. It doesn't make any sense. So many things are involved, though. I, apart from calls, there are so many things involved when it comes to taking people for granted. So don't take me for granted. I won't either. If you're not ready for this, don't start it. Please respect yourselves, okay? Respect her and she'll respect you. It's it's uh, uh, it's not a one man thing. Do you understand? We are in this together. It's just like when you say, "Give me peace of mind." You guys are meant to give each other peace of mind. It's not one thing. Actually, when a girl wants to, uh, once once a girl uh, uh, reacts to whatever her boyfriend or her man or her bo uh, sorry her husband has been doing to her, do you understand? Then the man will be like, "You don't give me peace of mind. You always shout. You always nag. Really, because she's telling you how she feels." Then, when she keeps calm, she's giving you peace of mind. She's tolerating all the things you are doing. Or when he keeps calm, he's trying to tolerate everything you are doing. You think, no, 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 no. Please, let's get this peace of mind thing right. The sixth one, don't give up on important things. 
things like ticking up on her, getting her things she needs, getting him things he needs, uh, um, talking to each other when you feel like the world is about to come to an end. <laughs> we all have that feelings, honestly. When you feel like there is no one else to talk to but your man or your woman, there are a lot of things involved in this. It's not just about ticking up and all that, you know. So if you have more, please come to the comment section below and let's interact because I'm loving this topic. I didn't even know I was going to talk about relationship, honestly. But now I'm finding it so sweet um, and interesting. Yeah. So please, let's do the need for, okay? Just come to the comment section and let's, <laughs> let's do bass boost because definitely some people will not agree with me. Some people agree with me. Yes, that's just some period. But anyhow it goes. No problem. I am ready. The seventh one. Always return the money your partner borrowed you. Don't take it like it's your right. You'll be like, eh, moreover, I contribute a lot to this relationship, eh, blah, blah, blah. Because of that, why should I return the money? Please return the money, okay? So that next time, he or she will be able to deliver, period. There is a difference between you want him to dash your money, you want her to dash your money, and the difference between, babe, please borrow me this amount of money. I'm going to pay back, definitely. You've started it though by saying you'll pay back. So pay back, okay? The eighth one, don't tell each other everything. I'm talking from experience, my parents, and uh, some people have come across. Yes, don't. <laughs> don't let that love drive you away. <laughs> I'm telling you, you will not like it. You will not like the outcome. It's not everything you share. Just keep some things to yourself. Yes, I'm not saying it for people be like, eh, he's my best friend though, she's my best friend though. Don't do that best friend thing. I'm telling you, keep your mouth short when it's necessary. Open it wide when it's necessary. Thank you. The ninth one, don't break your promises. If you're ready to do something, you can mention it. If you're not ready, don't mention it. And when the day comes for you to fulfill this promise, please fulfill it. Don't make them to remind you. Don't make them feel like they are disturbing you for you to fulfill your promise. You made that promise, so please fulfill it. Promises are meant to be fulfilled, not broken. Some people, eh, when they promise you have an head like this, you'll be like, ah. Oga, madam, you've said a lot. I hope you're going to fulfill all these things. And most of them will not. Then it will not become a problem. Start having issues because they, they couldn't fulfill their promises. So please don't be like that. If you're ready for something, you can do it. If you're not ready for anything, don't bring it up. Just keep it to yourself, okay? Number 10, communicate often. Communication is the key. Communication means a lot in a relationship. Don't wait for uh, Adam to call first. Don't wait for Eve to call first. Don't be there and be saying, he hasn't called, she hasn't called, I'm going to wait till he or she calls. Before you know it, nobody will call and that relationship will start having issues. I'm telling you, so one person must be an escape goat. Yes. So I try to communicate often. It means a lot. Don't take it for granted. Number 11, don't ever assume things. Assumptions will ruin your relationship. I'm telling you, it will ruin it. I'm talking from experience. I know what assumptions did to me when I was in my first relationship, like it wasn't funny. I couldn't even ask him. I couldn't even tell him. I assumed and I stopped calling. Can you imagine? That was so dumb of me. I wouldn't have done that. And he tried to explain to me, but I couldn't just, I couldn't just <laughs> accept it. <laughs> because definitely for you to assume things, you must have seen things happening. Of course, you can't just assume. Definitely, something must have happened for you to assume and you'll be like, of course, it's going to happen. In fact, it's happening already. So please don't let assumptions ruin your relationship. Let it out. Don't even think about when you think, when you feel like it's coming to your head. Tell your head, get out. Don't even try it. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to listen. I'm even cut out. Number 12, be honest at all times. Even if it will hurt him or her. It's better you're honest than telling lies. I'm telling you. Me, hey. I can be honest for Africa, like, I can't hide my feelings. I can't even, I can't even lie because you'll catch me. <laughs> and you, if you lie, I'll catch you because I know how we built a relationship and all of a sudden you're trying to act funny. Definitely, I must, I must know. So don't even play that games with me because I won't do that to you. Do you understand? So it's always good to be honest. Please, it saves you from a lot. It does. And we've come to the end of this video, lovelies. I hope you grabbed something. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and see you in my next video. 
thank you guys for watching bye